All right, next up we're going to do some Angelus purple dye. This is one of my favorite colors, but it's also a little bit tricky. The purple, if you put it on too much, turns a little bit brown. So there's a couple tricks you can do if you want full strength color versus diluted. I've not had some great results with the diluted dyes as I've been playing here. So I've got a 50-50 mix of Angelus Neutral and Purple here. We'll apply this first. Move to the figured piece. This color is pretty dark as it is. So I'm not going to dip again. I'm just going to rub whatever I've got on here. for coat two. So we're even out that color a bit. So that is the 50-50 mix and now we'll go straight out of the bottle. When I dilute it, it actually looks a little blue. I'll put one more coat up on top here. Alright, so we'll let this dry for a couple hours. We'll come back and see what this looks like. Interesting already how much darker straight out of the bottle is versus diluted, but I actually think the diluted looks better. A little bit more purple. This is so dark. It's almost uh, not usable in some way. So we'll let this dry and we'll see what this looks like in a little bit. So this is after a couple hours drying, we've got the 50-50 mix and we've got the straight from the bottle. And it's interesting to see the two different colors that we got going on here. Really dark purple, this is sort of a lighter purple but still very full in color. What I've done when I get the purple too dark and it's a little bit brownish, which is what you'll see if you really, really apply some of the stain is I'll take some steel wool and I'll clean it off. So this is some fine steel wool. And if you just rub off some of the color like this, you'll get a lot more purple. So you can see how much better that is already. So if I'll just do it on this side here. It just lightens it up enough without actually having to sand it. And that just takes off sort of the top layer of color. 
So for this, we're going to grab the sander here with some 240 grit. We're going to sand this down and I'll show you how that looks. So now we've got some naphtha, we'll show you what this looks like with something on it. And after sanding this back, I'm surprised that even the coloring, sort of a lighter purple, heavier purple, and just interesting, just what the dilution does. It's not a full half dilute out of this color, but it's, it's just lighter. But lighter so that it's another sort of color. So that's on the diluted. That looks pretty awesome on the figured piece. And you can see on this figured piece how much darker and deeper it is straight from the bottle. So that color really does sink in there. And you can see this has got a little bit of a bluish hint and this is definitely more purple. So if you're going for the sort of the purple sanded back, like the Northern Lights, that PRS Northern Lights I did, you can see you really got to go with the full bottle. And if you're going for more of a, I guess, a, a lighter purple with a little bit of blue, you want to use the 50-50 mix. So, like I said, purple is one of my favorite colors. Just needs a little bit of work, a little bit of finesse, and you can get that purple to really pop. So thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in the next vid.